Good evening, everybody. I know that usually we start talking once the game comes up, but we're going to start talking a little bit over top of this background because we have Ness Cardinality versus DK in the semifinals. And uh, my memory may not serve me correct, but my partner in crime tonight, LOZ Cards fan, has a great memory from the 2020 Summer League, was it Cards? That is correct, Duke 37. And boy, this is going to be a great matchup. The stakes don't get too much higher than this, Oog. This is a rematch of the 2020 championship between Ness Cardinality and DK9146. Now, earlier in that tournament, remember back then, this was a double elimination tournament, not best two out of three like it is today. Earlier in the tournament, Ness Cardinality defeated DK9146 to send him into the second chance bracket. DK9146 plowed through the rest of that bracket to make it to the grand championship now because he emerged from the second chance bracket Oog, he had to win two games whereas Ness Cardinale only had to win one and at the point Ness Cardinale was playing a perfect championship a perfect tournament and he was looking he was poised to take home the championship right then and there he was the first one to that dragon lord but low rolls plagued Ness Cardinality, and he ended up losing that game to DK9146 by one HP. DK won on his dive to the Dragon Lord to force it to a deciding game for the championship. And in that game, number two in the finals, which I was doing the commentary for along with Z-Man, DK9146 pretty much ran away with that one and took home the 2020 championship. So Ness Cardinality is going to look to exact some revenge to defeat DK9146 and advance to the grand championship, either against Metal Dream or Big Slamu. And you don't mind me saying, because you have said so several times on my own channel, you you think this is the NES Cardinality Revenge Tour. You think this is the year he's going to take it, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the way he's been playing right now, I mean, you look at how he got to this round. His last opponent was the opponent who eliminated him last year in the quarterfinals, and that was Angel FM, and he won that in straight games, two games to nothing. He was very impressive in game number one, and in game number two, he won it by all of 23 seconds. Big reason for that, though, was because Angel FM FM made the decision to buy some fairy water before going into Sherlock, and that decision ultimately costed Angel there. Yes, that's exactly what I said when I was on comms for that race, but let's take a look at this race. We start with 34 HP and 8 attack power, but no magic and no spells naturally whatsoever. So with 8 attack power, what, could, what do we got right off the hop? Well, we're not going to be able to defeat too much here, uh, Oog. I mean, pretty much we can get, uh, you know, slimes and red slimes and drakeys, and that's about it. We're going to have to hope for some, you know, use, useful enemies to grind on. Now, not to take anything away from DK9146. He's had a great tournament. You see these records there. Ness Cardinality currently 9-2 and two in the tournament. DK is 12-3, and three, so he's had to work harder to get to where he is right now. In fact, he lost his opening game in the quarterfinals against Aaron to u 2 and his back was against the wall, but he ended up pulling off the reverse sweep, winning the final two games to get to these semifinals. Oh, so it was scripted like a 2 out of 3 falls match in wrestling. Oh, absolutely, if, if you want to okay. look at it that yes. way. <laughs> and we are just waiting. We have the countdown on. The runners are ready to go. They're both doing straight HP like we would expect them to. And two, one, zero. The race room is open. Let's see when the uh, when we kick in here. I'm looking forward to this one, Oog. I'm hoping for no wings. No wings in the throne. You want no wings, no keys. You want these runners to earn it right then and there. You don't want it to be handed to them on a silver platter. I, I definitely like the idea. I mean, these are two of the most seasoned veterans you're going to see here. You know, they've, they've kicked butt in the nightlies day in and day out. We've got an herb. We've got a dragon scale. That's an additional two defensive points, but no wings, no key. So they're either going to have to find a chest that has the key or they're going to have to find Rimmeldar. That's going to be key for both of these runners. Pun intended. After this key, they have to use. Correct. We are right up right now. No nice land. Yeah, very nice uh, real estate here for these runners to potentially do a grind on. And Nescar now the first. 
He certainly can. Drakeys have between four and five hit points. They give you three experience, a slime for DK. And these 34 hit points, like these level, this, these zero tier enemies, you don't really have to worry about unless one of them has something nasty. Oh, absolutely. Well, Druin, not as not appealing to... with 17 to 22 HP. DK's right into that, uh, right into that desert, desert tiles, though. Uh, we got a magician. Ooh, not quite yet. Yeah, not enough so attack we'll power. So we probably get a ghost, too, if we found one. Yeah, ghosts might work because, you know, they have 6 to 7 HP, they give 4 experience points. With this Drakey, Ness Carnality will get to level 2, and he's going to get it right now. Oog, you this take away those digits. All right, I'll take it then. We've got 5, 1, 1, 6, no spells, but hey, that 5 attack power, we could be going after some ghosts, maybe that Magician. Unfortunately, the 6 MP is nice, but the no spells is not. The Magic Drake, ooh. They have stop spell. Oh, this could work. This could work if they use it a lot. Oh, absolutely. And Magic Drakey's give and 12 experience points. Just remember, you started with 34 HP. Yeah, absolutely. And takes you down the Magic Drakey. 12 big points. Level 3. Take it away. All right. We have power 7. Speed by 3. Hit point 0. Magic 5. And we have a Radiant. Well, it's gonna Radiant. Get, gonna be that's not really useful for Ness Carnality. I mean, he's one of the best when it comes to going through dark caves. And they're both trying to find different spots. Ooh, oh, that's, that's not good for DK. It could be good later on, you know, once he has maybe hurt more or maybe a better weapon. Another Drakey down for Ness Carnality. So, you know, he's getting up to next level, by the way, at 35 points. Ooh, a Metal Slime. Bad news, though. His strength right at 20. And there you go. It's if good. it was at 19, it would have stayed on the field, Oog. Yes, it would have. But here's a ghost. That'll be nice. Yeah, metal slimes give anywhere uh, they give 32 times the current level you're on in this case it would have been 96 points goes down for Ness Carnality. he is seven points away from the next level here's a magician chance for dk they give him a big eight a points for Ness Carnality. yeah wolf Ward's not gonna <laughs> oh but he's not able to run away so so far magic wyvern and a wolf lord have both cast return on our heroes absolutely dk got a critical hit on the magician so he gets a big eight points right there he's one point away yeah this slime will do it so level three incoming for dk or i beg your pardon he needs two more my, my mistake two more if it was a red slime you were absolutely right Right, for some reason I had 15 on the brain because I had 35 on the brain. Well, there's another three points, four more points. So a ghost would do it for Ness Carnality. Druids have sleep. Oh, they have the artificial oh, 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 wombo. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you want to stay away from the druids today, everybody. Yeah, you want to get that first strike and you have to have more attack power than that. Well, they have 75% hurt more as well. That's disgusting. We want to stop spell, just just in case we run into them. We don't ever want to kill them at this point. Oh, another okay. magic drinking chance for Ness Carnality. Really? Again, they have a lot of stop spells, so, you know, that's very useful for these runners. And their attack's only hitting for, like, it's almost like damage broken already. Absolutely. I love to see that. And there's going to be a level four for Ness Cardinality first. Let's see what those digits are. Absolutely, Oog. Here we go. Nine more power, two agility, four HP, six MP, but still no useful spells, Oog. Speaking of useful down. spells, Jay's about to get his. Yep, he's going to get his rating in. Uh, ooh, Ness Cardinality has found Sherlock. Take it away, Oog. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Like a good neighbor, Sherlock's right, right there. there. And Major Wyvern's right there to send him back to the castle. Drakemus have stop spell. And they seem to be using it a lot as well, but the problem is we're not quite strong enough, at least on DK side, to take on a Drakema. We might be strong enough on Ness Carnality side. They have 12 to 16 HP, 20 experience points. A stop spell would be beautiful on them, though. One Excellent thing. shot for DK. Another four on the ghost. Magician for Ness Carnally. He'll take this fight. DK is going east of Sherlock. Oh, oh that's, that's bad news. Bye, bye, bye. 
Yeah, they're they're great later on, but at this early stage of the game, they're you might as well call them red dragons. Cause we have 16 and 18 agility respectively, Oog. We can't run away from much. Even if you were to add 70 to it, who knows? Yeah, agility is just a number, of course. We'll get to that junction. That's bad that magicians are running away from Nest Cardinality. Ooh, Druin and uh, now Nest Cardinality Ooh. sees that they've got the yep. hurt move. He's going to try to take him down in one shot. Not going to happen, though. Or just taking an intentional death to fill up. That could be, too. But meanwhile, DK also getting to level four. So both of these runners are on the same level now. Still a slight experience point lead for Nest Cardinality at this point. He currently is 16 points Wait, away, what? so a scorpion. Oh, oh man. Yeah, DK had no chance against that blue dragon. Where did that thing come from? Came out of nowhere, but they give 180 experience points, but yeah, way too early for him. Oh, up by the... Yep. So if Ness Cardinality goes further east, he'll run into one as well. Uh, Druin now. He, yeah, he's going to run away from him now. He knows he he has doesn't have what it takes. DK sees a Drakima now with that boost in attack power. He's going to try to take him down. So as long as they don't have anything real nasty. Yeah, I've heard. Oh, that's great. Oh, stop spelling her. And that's a big 20 points there for DK. 87 is 5. But there is a green dragon, and that's a big note for DK, and he's going to be sent back to the castle once again. These dragons, they are patrolling this outer world here. Why? Well, Why not you let them out? Five more points for an escort. This magician would do it if he can take it down in the one shot. Oh, no. Here's another magician chance for Ness Carnality. He wants a better hit than that. All right, it stays on the field this time. Should be a good hit there for Ness Carnality, and he does. He is yep. going to get level five. Go right ahead. Power 12, points one, magic one, and hurt. Not really hurt useful, that? though. Eh. I, mean, I mean, with 31 strength, yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be useful. I mean, the extra, you know, Drakimas and DK gets sent back. Oh, Wizard, oh, that hurts. Not going to help. Now, that Wizard going to run block Nest Cardinality, and he is sent back. And they've got sleep. Do they have yeah. anything else? I wonder. Oh, they have the artificial Wombo Combo Light. Artificial fake Wombo? Absolutely. It's still, it's still, uh, it still sends you home. It's still deadly. Yeah, absolutely. It's only 25% sleep, so, that, you know, that's not terrible. But again, they are a Sherlock enemy, so keep that in mind later game. Absolutely. All right, well, next level. 25 and a 75, right? Yes, a stop spell is going to land you a charm. Yeah, and we have deep a night. That's no good. This will be tougher. Ness Carnality to escape from. And he's going to be sent back again. Meanwhile, DK continuing his grind, finds another slime, and at this point, you'll take anything. Just get to level five. Yeah, level five, they'll give him another boost in attack power, and they'll give him hurt again. When you get that boost attack power, hurt, not really going to be that useful. And a green dragon back attacking and blocking and uh, dk will still not take the fight with the druid now nest carnelli will have a decision to make when he sees the druid with that boost in attack power again you need 17 to 22 hp we know that they use hurt more a lot Ooh, those charts are slick thank oh. you as oh they are fantastic i love these charts oh this is fantastic What's not fantastic is a magician running away from DK, so that's a lost opportunity for eight points. <laughs> a critical hit on a red slime, because why the heck not, Oog? Well, I mean, if you're going to crit something, you might as well crit the easiest things in the game, right? Okay, a warlock has hurt. Oh, he, no, 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 Ness Carnally went for the hurt. He's going to try to win this damage race. He's got 23 points. One more ought to do it. 
And yeah, he's got that. That's a big 28 points there for Ness Carnality. Where Hurt comes into play. Not here. Not ready to hit those triple 20s yet. DK's wandering now to the west to try and see what the grind is over here. We got a magician on Nest Carnality's side, and Nest Carnality's now going back east. Ooh, the Demon Knight! Going after the Demon Knight! Oh, this is just. I'm. Um, just take me home, please. And once again. Nescarnality is putting the herd on the, the Warlock and gets another one. Now I think eight points away from level six at 165. You're absolutely right there. I mean, yep, we're seeing Drakimas getting taken down by both of the runners. Yep, stop spell. It's a miss there. Oh, but a dodge. For, yeah, they are dodgy, these uh, these uh, Drakimas there, but that's okay. That's one good. shot's enough, and that is going to be level six for Nescarnality. He's got about a 76-point lead. It's two, three, eight, one and oh it's hurt more <laughs> let's open this baby up oh that is this is where nest carnality could start uh to pull away here not if he gets blocked <laughs> yeah that magic wyvern that you see on dk oh, side oh, all oh. these magic wyverns are now going to just eat it Blue Dragons, uh, blue not dragon. so much. I mean, yeah, 45 damage. That's going to send Ness Carnality back again. So he's going to be looking for Green Dragons. He's going to be looking for Axe Knights. He's going to be looking for Magi Wyverns and, and the like. Right now, I would be going for the Magi Wyverns because the likelihood of them killing you off of one back attack is much lower. But that's just my opinion. Magi Drake and Ness Carnality will one shot, but a better enemy in a Drakima for DK. So right now, Ness Carnality, he's going to be looking for enemies like this green dragon. The back attack does not help, though, because he has to one shot them. And this is far from a guarantee, Oob. Will he get the one shot kill? No. Yeah, green dragons, 56 DK's or 54 to 72. DK's on a little bit of exploration here. So yeah, DK could Why? sneak in and, you know, maybe gain some advantage. You know, he's starting to cut into that lead a little bit. You know, he's not that far away. Doesn't have the hurt more yet, however, but we haven't oh, found here's anything. Here's a big here's chance for Nescarnality. That's a big chance for him. It's a one-shot kill guarantee. That's why they're my favorites. Yep, that takes him to 272. He needs another 55 points, or 65 points, I beg your pardon, to get to level 7. So if he finds another Magi Wyvern, that will do it. Wolf Lord chance for DK. He Gotta can he survive. Point. If he hits on this, he'll get a big boost. He gets it. There we go. That's level 6. Now, Ness Carnality goes first. Doesn't get enough. Ah. Uh... DK now has his hurt more. Yeah, now it's just going to come down to hurt more luck. Well, here's DK's chance. Can he get the one-shot kill on a green dragon? No. Whoa. Yeah, neither the runner having luck getting the one-shot hurt more on green dragons. And Ness Carnality just not having enough to withstand a hit from a green dragon. Drakima, Ness Carnality should have no trouble taking it down. We still haven't seen any other sign of life except, you know, the um, the one place we don't want to be until the very end. Ooh, DK gets back attacked from a green dragon, so once again, he's got to one-shot it. Will he get lucky this time? He gets 58. He gets the lucky! Oh, that ball fucking hits! Gets the low roll, and it's a low rolling green dragon, and that's going to put, just like that, DK in the lead. They're, they're at the exact same XP right now. Yep, and now this uh, Drakima will be enough for Ness Carnality to get the level first, but here's a magic for DK. Get seven very quick. All right, so for seven, we have a three power, two speed, two hit points, magic by 14. Oh, that's great. There's two, there's two, at least two hurt mores more. Demon Knight, yeah, you can't really do much with the Hurt more against the Demon Knight. Ooh, a town on his Carnality side, and an Axe Knight chance, but he gets back attacked, and he'll be sent back. 
but the knowledge. Yeah, the knowledge, but uh, every second he's not getting an enemy down, DK can start to pull away on experience, potentially. Yes, yes, those goats are gonna really let him pull away. Trakimas are running away already. Yeah, Ooh. when you have 46 chest strength, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but DK is... hasn't even thought of going west. Well, here's a Wolf Lord chance for Nest or, uh, DK, but it's a back attack. But this hurt more. It's like, hey, take this. It's Rimaldar! We have keys. Oh, that's a huge find for Nest Carnality. He gets it first. And right now, with this hurt more, unless you really, really find a. Uh, uh, important place right. where right. you now, are immune to it. You don't really need to spend that much money on gear. Now, Oob, the only problem is Ness Cardinality doesn't get much gold, but here's a chance if he can get this one shot, a good chance yeah. he can one shot this hurt more and get a lot of gold, buy more keys. Got him. There we go. And but just like great. that, more keys for Ness Cardinality. This is a right play. So 16 and a half minutes is when Nest Cardinality found keys. Let's see when DK gets his. I mean, that, that that could be a factor in determining a winner or a loser here, but they also keep in mind the experience grind is another thing that could determine a winner exactly. or a loser here. So the, right now, DK with the experience advantage at the moment, but Nest Cardinality with the knowledge experience. And keys. Has opened up a lot more checks. Now, Ness Carnality is going to be looking for accents. A green dragon. Oh, but he gets back attacked. He has to nail it on this shot. Ooh, He's not had the luck. 41. That defense power of 13. And is just no luck for Ness Carnality. Another green dragon sends him home. But no luck for DK. But that's okay because he can, you know, he can double her. More. He misses though. And DK, oh, the bad luck. What? Sherlock coming out of Sherlock. Wow. Sherlock okay, coming out of Sherlock. It's still Torch. Torch. A key refund. Torch. That's nice. And finally, wings. So no gold grind tonight. So I don't think we're going to see a silver shield for either player. Let's see if DK can get lucky on the green dragon. Nope. It's a 60. But again, he's got he's got enough HP. Yeah. We'd stand it. It connects. He's got it. That's another 135 points. And that's level eight, is it not? He's, yeah, he's the first to level it's eight. Here are the digits. It's one, eight, two, and seven, and a back attack from an Axe Knight for Ness Cardinale. So he's got to connect on this Hurt more to get the 130 points, and it's got to be enough damage. Yes, it is. Man. DK will take Flute the cash. Goldman. Flute Goldman is in the house, everyone. Yep, I'm a gold man. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I always love doing that when it's a gold man. Green Dragon, no luck for Ness Carnality as of yet. Will he get the luck this time? This time he does, but so did DK. Yes, DK is about 120 ahead right now. Maybe not for long, but we'll see. Another, uh, we have knights here as well. And another Green Dragon back to back for Ness Carnality. He'll take it. DK up to 946. He's only uh, 29 away from the next level. Yeah, Knights here in this zone is great. Curse Belt. We've got another Curse Belt. Or wait. Um, I don't know. It's a. I have no idea what's in this chest. This is... This is... Oh, another Axe Knight down for DK. He'll be the first to level nine. Ooh, it's your turn. Two, 15, 12, seven, and repel. Another green dragon for Ness Carnality. Got another one shot kill. He's starting to get into a groove and he's going to get to level nine. Oh, it was a key. Okay, so it was a key. Here's another green dragon. Let's see if he can roll lucky again. He's only got 23 HP. Roll 60. It's not enough this time, and he'll be sent back. What cave was that? I mean, it was either mountain or uh, um, grave. It might have been mountain. Oh, it was grave. Well, that's a tough break there, but... Uh, 
That is more knowledge that, you know, DK currently doesn't have. All right, Magic Wyverns for both here. So DK going to keep that 200-point experience lead on Ness Carnality. Now, decision time for Ness Carnality is where will he go? Another Magic Wyvern chance for DK. Oh, a stone man. Can Ness Carnality run from it? He can. Ooh, and here's a night chance for uh, Ness Carnality. Does DK want the gold? Yep, he does want the gold. Ness Carnality back to Rimmeldar now. He's going to see what is behind the uh, two-for-one special here. Oh, they have stop spell. That's bad for DK because now he can't use it on the night. I'll have to run away. Inside the chest, it's a torch. And I think Ness Carnality will say no. Oh, he is going to say yes. He'll drop a cursed belt. Another green dragon, though, down for DK. He has just gotten level 10. So here come the digits for level 10 on DK. 14, 4, 1, 2. Another big power boost when we really kind of don't need it. All right, Ness Carnality now got to check in the store here in Rimmeldar. And he is going to find a small shield, leather armor, and a copper sword. He'll buy the copper sword. And he'll buy the small shield. And he'll also buy the leather armor as well. So he'll stock up on some goodies here in Rimmeldar. Not bad. So now Ness Carnality going to continue to explore west. And he's going to use Repel. But he's going to find an Axe Knight. Okay, he's going to get there. That's a hurt more. And it's a swing and a miss. My word. Imagine Wyvern down for DK. He'll try again on the Hurt more. This time gets him and does get the kill. Another Magic Wyvern for DK. Guaranteed kill. All right, and here is a Stone Man. Oh, and Ness Carnality can't escape, but stays alive. And Run fails a second time. Where's Guy when you need him? Probably swearing at something. It absolutely is. Uh, Fran Burgundy's here in the commentator's booth. Um, Oog having some technical difficulties, so uh, Burgundy here pinch hitting. Yeah, just just hop, came in uh, from out of the bullpen for a moment here, just to help out as uh, heard what was going on here, or kind of paying attention to things. Well, right now, DK has about a 500 experience point lead on Ness Carnality, but Ness Carnality has the knowledge advantage at the moment on DK. And Ness Carnality finds another town. It's Cole. Well, one free search spot here. This should be interesting. It depends. We, we, there is one curse belt, and we have the death necklace. And DK, unlucky with the uh, axe knight, does not get enough uh, damage on him and will be sent back to start. And Ness Carnality going to be doing a death necklace gold grind here. I like this. Yeah, it's a gutsy play, but you figure, hey, if there's a, a large shield here, uh, maybe just a, less, a little upgrade in equipment from the copper sword, leather armor, and the small shield that you have there. Yeah, the, you know, he could... 1200, let's see what he's got here. Broadsword is a possibility. Hand axe, let's see what we've got. Broadsword and chainmail. He could go back, get that broadsword. Pretty likely. I could see another 500 uh, plus gold take here just maybe five or six searches all told it'll be five he's gotten some good rolls here on the gold magic wyvern down for dk continuing to further that experience lead up to 650 now there berg but still going without those keys which i believe we saw is just uh, behind Sherlock there, the left. It's west of Sherlock, and DK has not gone Sherlock that direction yet. Gone. All right, so uh, we've got the broadsword purchase on Ness Carnality side, so that's another big uh, boost in attacking, which is nice if you don't want to use, you know, a spell to finish off something that a hurt more doesn't finish off. Every little bit helps. Yep, and that's currently continuing to do the exploration, finds a metal scorpion. This is definitely going to be an enemy worthwhile to use a hurt more on, and down it goes for Ness Cardinality. DK continuing to explore east as he finds a skeleton. 
So what have I missed? Well, you have missed uh, Ness Carnaudi. He has found coal. We had the death necklace at coal. He did the little death necklace gold grind, which procured him both Ooh. a chain mail and a broadsword. Very nice. Ooh, we have a sparkle yeah. bridge. Ooh, and DK has just been continuing on the grind and now doing some exploring. Yeah, they're going in there, diverging directions. Oh, a werewolf chance for DK. He could get 95 points if he's able to connect on the hurt more. Here's an axe knife chance for Ness Cardinality. It connects. It connects for DK. It connects for Ness Cardinality. They both get the respective points and level 10 for Ness Cardinality. And we've already uh, counted these numbers, right? Yes, we have. So uh, level 11 and will be yours. Okay, and I want to thank Ferran Burgundy for coming in while I was having technical difficulties. My computer just decided to shut down on me, so I had to reboot. All right, here's a skeleton for DK and S. Cardinelli. Not interested in a... I, th I think we already saw that, though. Okay. That was Cole. Okay, yep. thank you. Oh, but here's another town. You see this one? No. What town do we have for Ness Carnality? It is... Ooh, Garenham! Ooh. With keys as well. Yep. So this is a one. This is a one way, the one time trip. Yeah, this is some good exploration right now. Ness Carnality has gone in the right direction so far. You know, the early indication would lead you to believe that. Yes. What towns has DK found any yet? None. Ooh, okay, so DK's just really been concentrating Silver on this. Silver shield, uh, half plate is here, uh, but right now Ness Carnality can't afford it. But if he finds gold in this uh, uh, Garenham treasury, then he will be able to uh, perhaps buy that uh, half plate. I'm just going to hop there's... in here for one sentence oh, just to say we truthfully heal, had four heal more. Heal more. Oh, Healmore at level 11. We missed it. We will call level 11 when S Cardinality gets it. Lord of the Sith, thank you for clarifying for everybody. Yes, there were four people who came out for comms today. Eventually, two of us were it's chosen. It's the armor for Ness Cardinality! Forget it! That's and a token! token. Ooh, some great stuff Ooh. here in the treasury. Um, I think the exploration lead has now gone beyond the... Uh, the uh, experience lead here. I think you're absolutely right. Now, let's see what we have here behind the stairs. It is an old man. It's the freebie cave. What should be the sword? No, oh, it's either, it was either a key or an herb. So, yeah, he doesn't have to buy the half plate now. How about that? Hey, a rogue scorpion. It's just one rogue scorpions. And he'll take those 70 points, will DK. Absolutely. Next level's at 3,000. Reckonary. Hey, we'll I'll leave the light on for you. At least you know where you can uh, recharge yourself for the least amount of uh, gold. All right. Hurt more chance for Ness Carnality to take down this um, Wolf Lord. But yeah, this, that, uh, that armor is going to be really helpful for Ness Carnality. He's not going to take any damage to either the Swamp Tiles or those 15 HP Trap Tiles. You have reduced damage on Hurt more. You have reduced damage on Dragon Breath. And you heal yourself one HP every step you take. And you're completely immune to stop spells. Ooh, this and... time it's DK that doesn't have enough, but luckily the Green Dragon didn't hit him for hard enough to send him back. So that's another 135 points closer for DK. He's four hundo away from level 12. Ooh. With very nice, and with all of those extra little perks with this armor, you can cast that repel and not worry about running into stuff oh, like this. Oh no, Blue Dragon for Ness Carnality. Is this going to end his run? Nope. He's able to get away, and he finds a, a cave. cave. The green dragon sends DK home. All right, we'll see what this is. I obviously can't tell because I'm not uh, good at my exploration. Tablet. You think it's tablet? That is tablet. Just from the, just from the, the, the coming and going, the do, 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 do. And Ness Carnality knows his way around the tablet cave. That's why he's yeah. not gonna use a torch or the radiant spell. Like I said, one of the best in the business when it comes to working his way around caves and it's gold. Let's see, a small shield and a broad sword. You know what? You could use that gold. Oh, and I now think DK, DK 14 minutes later, is going to find Rimmeldar, and he's going to think to himself, how far am I behind Ness Carnality in exploration? Absolutely. Both of these players know who they're playing against. Oh, absolutely. So do you think Ness Cardinality's thinking with all this exploration, what's the experience 
deficit. Exactly, because he knows what is in this overworld and what he could have grinded on up to this point. I mean, he's going to have to get this experience point sooner or later. But DK right now behind. Uh-oh, it's an AK-47. Ness Cardinale needs two successful swipes of it. He's got one. He's got to nail this one or he could get sent back. Gets it. 172 for Ness Cardinality. DK, I'm going to purchase his keys here in Rimmeldar. He finds another town. Could be Hawksness. It is Kalen. Nope. We have so the shopping mall. We have the shopping mall and we have a coordinates check. An easy coordinates check as long as you got a key. And provided that the coordinates are reasonable, I don't expect Ness Cardinality to rescue Gwalen. I think if even if it's a reverse count. Well, let's take a look here. There are coordinates of four seconds. Even I could count that, Oog. I, I don't know. It's a little tough. I know. I know. I think I'd struggle as well. Yep. Bye bye, Gwalen. Replenishing keys, because really, you only, you're only probably looking for a. Uh... I mean, the only thing you could look for at this large point shield. is a large shield, which we could have here in Cantlin, do we? Sure we do! And perfect! Yep, change to spare. Don't really need to sleep, because you can just heal walk. Absolutely. So, as Carnality continues to be on his way. Casting the repel. He's found another town. This has got to be Hawk's Nest. It's got to be Hawk's Nest. Yep, because we've seen all the others. Um, I want a golem. You want a golem? Well, uh, you're going to have to deal with an armored knight first. That's cool. All right, down it goes for Ness Cardinale. That's another 172 points. A rogue scorpion, easy 70 points for DK. And he, one more rogue scorpion would give him level 12. The tile... Blue dragon, that is Ooh. not great. He'll go for the Hermor. They're pretty gets resistant, the but he one. gets one. Can he get Can the he second swing it out? One? He could. He's got 70. He's got 90. And how many points is that worth? 190. But more importantly, gentlemen, the sword. Oh my goodness. Fully kitted out because... There's no reason to uh, death necklace grind to 14,000. My word. Ness Cardinale right now has all the goods. He's just stones away from being in grind and go mode. Well, where we? Oh, yeah. With... See, that's the part when you're. you're remember, falls we have apart. coordinates. We have yeah. coordinates. It could be the stones. It, of course, could, it also could be. The be... Yes. Do you even bother with the fighter's ring or do you just hope to find it along no, the way no 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 you're not going to go out of your way to try to find it eight four seven twenty seven heal sleep and heal more ness Carnot is going to love the seed green dragon for dk plenty of hp should have no trouble taking it down even if he doesn't one shot it he'll chip it away with the copper sword that's enough and that's another 135 points it's really interesting it started with such a bottleneck oh absolutely it did but uh right now dk he's he's again got the advantage in the experience points but ness Carnality has all of the knowledge right now for exploration now it's not free being this agility stinks he's got 54 agility yep and let's face it, Sherlock still needs to come into play at some point. And yeah, we don't know where the trading. Yeah, now we don't know where the we don't know where the trading cave is. We don't know where the jerk cave is, and uh, you know we don't know where mountain cave is either. Or swamp, swamp we don't know about either. I highly doubt, unless swamp is like a direct. But we've already found Sherlock. It's next door. All right, DK has found his next town. He's now in the shopping district of Canlan. Now, unlike Ness Carnality, he's going to have to use heels and heel mores to get through those trap tiles. Yep, he has not found. He's only wearing the leather armor. And leather disintegrates in that stuff. Oh, most certainly does. Well, anything that's not Erdrick's armor disintegrates in that stuff. 
Demon Knight down for Nest Cardinality as DK fills up at the Inn in Cantlin. We're looking at 4175 or 4125 for level 13. It is 4125. Okay. Another Demon Knight down for Ness Cardinale. Another 90 points. Starting to close in on that experience gap now that uh, DK has to do his shopping and whatnot. And if there's something I know about both of these players, once they find a really, really good grind spot, it's kind of like... I'm here, and I'm going to be here until I know the win is mine. All right, Ness Carnality is going to use the sleep. Good idea, because he, how many times? He, he already double ran fail from a stone man earlier. Back attack by a blue dragon, though. That doesn't and help. We have, we have our 4-10 and ten on DK side. Yep. So you know what that is? 10-4. That's the policeman's coordinate, coordinates. <laughs> it's the fun police's coordinates. Taken. The fun police's coordinates. There. Got it. Yes. We have the fun police coordinates today. Um, I almost would have taken the, the tile depth and just did my four and 10 right there. All right, what do we have here for Ness Cardinality? This is either Swamp or this That's is good. Mountain. Like Swamp South. Swamp South, Ness Cardinality gonna check the other one, but oh, he gets stopped by the deputy. Can he run away? Yes, he can. All right, the other cave. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Nope, it's nope. a trading cave. Now it's now with all of the gear that you need and what three the seventy five percent of the homework done. This I have to say this is Nescar now days to lose. I am still not quite sure about that. I think this is closer than you think, Hoog. It may be closer than I think, but I'm saying it. All right, well, Ness Cardinality is going to go through a Swamp. Now, uh, no real... Now, he may peek at what is on Spike Tile to see if it's a grind potential. I personally wouldn't. I would want to get my exploration done first. If we can get there, it, great. And there it is. It's an Axe Knight on the tile. Yeah, it's a Blue Dragon for DK. I'm talking about the Spike Tile here in Swamp. DK, Ooh, DK gets the first hurt more can swing through this as well and get his sword. Well, yes, but he's going to go double hurt more and there's the miss. No. Ness Carnally doesn't get enough on his hurt more. Okay, he did find that is the uh, that is the spike tile there. So oh, Ax Ness Carnally grinding Axe Knights in the Swamp Cave. There's just one Everything problem. coming up Mill House. Exactly. Again. He's not, he, yeah, great idea to use the heal more. Don't take a risk. DK connects with the hurt more. He's got the blue dragon down. He's got his 180 and he's going to get his sword. Sigh of relief on DK side, most likely, but also it's like, okay, if I waited this long to explore, what else has he found? Guess what? Uh, uh, we, they both like have, that. you know, I just realized, you know what they both have just a bit outside. Yes, they do. The level up was seven, three, 25. The 25 HP is going to be huge. Now we still have to find that jerk cave and we still have to find the stones of sunlight. Once Ness Carnality okay. finds those two things. Oh, he's now in the same place that Ness Carnality's in. And he's gonna that find it about that. Oh! With no heart to try to trade so it. So this is either mountain Ooh. or this is jerk. Survey says mountain. Um, cards. There's no pyramid game today. Yep. Sad. No pyramid game. It's right, a gold. fantastic race, but I mean, it's just going to miss a pyramid game. Yeah, no 25. Wow, well, the producers, uh, they're on a budget. And while we have the moment at the 40 minute mark, can we get the links out for these two runners? And if anybody in this chat has not hit those links and hit the follow button on these two runners, I now, just think it's a great idea oh, to no. make this community even better. Swing and a miss on the sleeve for Ness Carnality. Gets it on this. My worry right now for Ness Carnality is he's low on resources. He's only got 16 MP left. There are still four chests left to go here. Green Dragon, he will go for the hurt more. D DK's in the same. DK's in the same cave with one MP. So Yeah, that's going to be tough. Not impossible, but tough. There's gold. Three chests left. 
lot of gold here in uh, Mountain. We've got Fighter's oh. Ring plus two. There you go. You don't have to look for it. it you found it. All right. We've got another chest coming up. Put on the Fighter's Ring for the two. And Curse Belt, that tells us nothing. That, that should be the third Curse Belt, should it not? I think so. So just one chest left for Nest Cardinality and an Axe Knight Chance. Now, the only thing is, you know, he's going to be out of MP, so he may do a Death Warp. The problem is, Jerk Cave might be in this area. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the risk you have to take, right? And simultaneous knights on both sides as Nest Carnality will just uh, chop at it. There's a Fighter's Ring for DK, and he'll take that, put it on for two bonus points. Final chest, nothing. So that means, be All right, so that means we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Either the coordinates... Either the coordinates have our stones of sunlight, or guess what? It's a grave. Ooh, deep grave. Yep, deep grave is a possibility, you know, and DK, this is where DK may gain uh, some time back on Ness Carnelius if he has a clean dive back to the grave. Um, just, just a note from chat, cards, I think you might like this. Um, version 2 production says, is it too early in this tournament for a Roger Dorn night? Oh, right. <laughs> and... He's bringing up Roger Dorn. Dorn's over the century against this guy with several foul tips and a Kaishino Chigeki for Ness Carnelli on the Green Dragon. Who cares about that hurt more? I will slice you. So right now he is looking for the Jerk Cave just to give him the knowledge. Uh-oh, he is back attacked by a Blue Dragon. He has no MP left. He's able to escape. We have DK in the treasury. Yeah, he's about to find the grave. And by the way, look how close we are in experience. We're oh, yeah. literally neck and neck, and you know, now, you know, DK's had to do his exploration. He's not been able to grind, and Ness Carnality is just taking encounters like it's nobody's business. He'll take the screen dragon. Big hit there, 41. Wait, two, two swing. Yeah, two swing should do it. Got him, double 41. Oh, 41, too. Well oh, done. You love, well, you love to see it. Yes, you do. All right, DK going to buy some more keys. There it is. He's Ooh. found the jerk. Even if he is destroyed, he's that's knowledge. Gives him peace there of mind. Is. He does not have the Stones of Sunlight. He needs to find the Stones of Sunlight. But he's going to use the wings, go back home. And he has, oh, what? Coordinates. Four so the east. easiest coordinates in the world. Ooh. So let's find out what we have. Is it the stones? It is not, not the stones. Thing. It is in grave. It is in deep grave. Deep grave. Yes. So, so uh, DK can gain some time back. As long as he goes through the whole grave right yeah. now. I mean, DK has good resources right now. Yeah, but if he goes through the whole grave right now, then that absolutely he'll gain time back if he doesn't yeah if he then, you know if something happens then yeah he's gonna lose a lot of more time than that's carnality dang right the pool slime everybody now with no more resources Ness carnality is going to uh, fill up at uh, the uh, right here with the magician it'll get all of his magic back and you gotta believe his next stop is gonna be the grave level 13 by the way for dk oog Power by three, response speed 12, hit points four, magic 12. Not bad. You're now at 94 magic on DKs. You have yourself almost 12 heal mores. You want one more level for 12 if that's what you're looking for. Absolutely. But 11 heal mores is, is good as long as you can get three. And here comes Ness Carnality. He's on his way back to the grave. He knows. He's explored everything else, Oog. He now knows that the uh, stones are somewhere in deep grave. And so they're both going after their stones. Yep. And yes, we do have very nice agility on DK's side version too. Thank you. Absolutely. And Escarnado will get there eventually. There's a chest for DK. There's a key. Uh, ooh, key. I'll drop a torch or a curse belt for a key. But you got the stones. They're still in. Uh... That was the glitch. That was glitch mode. That is the Stones of Sunlight. And that was not deep, deep grave. That was just deep grave. 
So DK has the stones of sunlight. So Ness Carnally only needs to get to the fourth chest to get his stone. So, you know, this could have been a lot worse, but two in a, two, two misses in a row for Ness Carnality on the Hurtmore. But we have we have a deep, deep grave check by DK because there's no way well, there's armor yes. on him yet. That that's what's gonna hurt DK is because he doesn't know that the final chest is gonna be a bust for him practically regardless. So that that actually is gonna hurt him anyways. But we do have just a bit outside. So, I mean, it's not gonna take that much longer, but still, that is probably 45 seconds of wasted time. But there's the stones for Ness Carnality. He's now in grind and go mode. I'd, I'd have and to outside. say, yeah, yeah, right now, I think now it is it's coming it's become clear to me in my opinion i think you're right i think this is ness carnality's race to lose um i'm i'm might even commentators curse here i'd be throwing a dagger three i'm no 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 if you know the experience with ness carnality and uh Char luck especially dragon lord i would never throw any daggers well it's a good thing that you are you and I am me. <laughs> Absolutely. We will see if I'm wrong. I'm throwing dagger three. Okie dokie. And it was gold in the final chest. And he has set up a gold grind as DK. This is not Very insignificant. Nice. This is not insignificant, ooh, because now he can buy that silver shield. And he can prove me wrong. But the amount of time he's taking on this oh, gold gun, I yeah. think he's going for a flame sword too. No, no he's uh, magic, no, uh, magic armor. Magic armor, yep. Because he doesn't know where Eric like is. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm. Do not like this play. The silver shield, fine, but I'm not a big fan of the going over. I mean, if it's a gold grind at the, at the end. I mean, at the very start. Forgive yep. me. There's the fairy flute for DK again, one of the easiest counts you will ever see. 10 4. I believe here DK going for the 22 5, knowing that Erdrick's armor, I mean, we know that it's not in Sherlock, but DK thinking ahead, figuring, all right, maybe I have to get magic armor at some point. And that could I, be so. I can see that, absolutely. And Ness Carnally going to fill her up here at Cantlin. DK gets to sleep off on the stone man, is able to escape. Do you know what would be nice? If just out of pure luck, finding the fairy flute at that uh, at its coordinates leads to a golem on the spike tile in, in, in Sherlock. Okay, there's the uh, magic armor purchase for DK. Now, with the magic armor, you get the same resistance on the um, hurt and hurt mores by one third, and you heal one HP every four steps but the other perils still remain. So right now, Ness Cardinality, he's gonna get the, he's gonna get the rainbow drop and he's gonna hightail it right back to the swamp cave here and go after that Axe Knight. Looks like he's gonna start on the Axe Knight first. That's fine. You can do that yeah. too. Either you one works. the other. I say as long as he gets the rainbow drop on this particular trip, I think he is in a powerful position. Yes, I can agree with you on that. Now we're talking about levels here. Level 14 is going to be at uh, 5,625, or I'm sorry, 7,500. Or no, it is 5,625 for level 14. 7,500 is level 15. Getting yes. ahead of yourself there. I did get ahead of myself. I was going one level ahead. And a silver shield on DK side. Yeah, that's a huge boost in uh, defense. I mean, you never know if that could come into play. Sherlock is a thing. There's the token. The armor will be found right now after just buying the magic armor. I mean, the money's not going to really, really matter, but he might no, be kicking himself all. slightly. But he's got his armor now. Yep. And he's already at 84 agility. But here comes Ness Carnality starting to hit the accelerators on that experience lead. And still got, what, 12 more hurt mores to waste? He's got a total of 11, oh, hurt mores. Um, 11 hurt mores. Not quite 12. 
Well, he just hit the the one I called twelve. Well, he has so. to use a heal more in case it's a miss. Ooh. You, you have to. Them. You have to. I mean, oh, you fresh. don't want to swing and miss, and then you take a death. He'll go ahead and just yep. chop away this wraith. But it's now almost a thousand on that XP lead for uh, for Nescar now. And uh, yes, Capistrup making a very good point here. 10, 2, 20 HP, 6 MP, stop spell and return. We have all of our spells by level 14. Now, look at that, we got green, orange, green, orange, green, orange. Now, the agility is awful for Nescar now. He's gonna use the outside. He's gonna go ahead and get that rainbow drop right now. You don't suppose he's gonna go for Sherlock now? I... I wouldn't put it past him. Well, I wouldn't I could put see it past him, him either. I've seen, I mean, him, I've seen him do Sherlock on less. Uh, he, it, now, here's the situation. He is swinging 8 to 16 on the Dragon Lord. He's averaging 12. He has uh, 12 heal mores. So 12 times 12 is 144. Yeah, it's definitely doable. He needs good rolls. Where have we, we heard doubles. that before? Where have we heard that before, Oog? Um, every, every race we ever call when somebody goes to Sherlock. Absolutely. So Ness Cardinality is going to get that rainbow drop, and uh, we'll see if he decides to go for Sherlock. You know, he may sub hour the seed if he does. Well, we're getting a return back to home. So we'll see what his next move is. And we'll get see it. what DK can do in the interim. I mean, the thing that, again, that silver shield may not be an insignificant purchase. If Ness Cardinality fails a d dive of Sherlock, DK can sneak in the back door and take it away from him, just like in 2020. But he still has a lot of exploration left to do. He and still you're has the one, to find trade in. You're the one who tells me what I'm going to get hit at the Dragon Lord for at the DPs. We have Absolutely. 84 on DK side and 75 on Ness Cardinality. What well, do we got for the math? Well, a 84 is still a 49 for DL2. Now, on Ness Cardinality side, it's 82, 78. 74. So he could still punch for 51 on Ness Carnality's side. So you could still take two full hits. You could still get a double with that 121 that Ness Carnality has. I wouldn't be surprised if he does this right now. Easy as he's going for it right now. He's he's making his way to Sherlock. So this is going to be his die, folks. Uh, if it's successful, he will take first blood in this best of three semifinal. And here we go. All right. Blue Dragon he's able to escape from. Now there's one enemy that we have not seen yet. Actually, there are two enemies we have not seen. Three enemies we have not seen yet, I beg your pardon. We haven't seen a Shahali yet. We haven't seen anything red. We've seen nothing red, except for uh, Armored Knights. We've, we've, seen not seen, we've not seen red dragons. We've not seen golems. I don't think we've seen golems. And we've not seen Magi Wyverns either. Uh I've seen golems be run from on DK side. Okay, so. then it's Star Wyverns, not Magic Wyverns, Star Wyverns. Yeah, Shahalis. Uh oh. Okay, he does run away that time from the Stoneman, but he did have one run fail. Yeah, so no red dragons. We've not seen any Star Wyverns either. A lot of blue dragons. This is fine. What's not Why fine is these run fails. Together? We got a double dragon screen right now. <laughs> Where are the murder death carrots when you need them? I don't know. There's 135 more points for DK as uh, he's closing in on level 14 himself. Diamond room for Ness Cardinality. Now, so far, nothing imposing yet on that Ness Cardinality screen. Werewolf yeah, shouldn't be too much. There's your Star Wyvern. Star Wyvern down for DK. He's got his 105. So I'm already going to tell you what's on the spike tile. It's a red dragon. I'm booking it right now. That is my prediction. Red dragon on spike. There's a Star Wyvern on Ness Carnality's side. And can't run away from it. That's, that's you know what? annoying. Because they had to find the flute, I want it to be a golem. On you want side. it to be a golem? Yes, I'll I do. Take, I'll take that. I'll take that. They're both 350 enemies. They both hit like trucks. Oh, and there's the Rye Guy special again on Ness Cardinality's side. All right, he's at the U now, so he's closing in. 
Uh oh, this hey, could be what? problematic. This could be problematic, Oog. Gotta get away. Ooh. Two run fails Gotta in a row. Right now. Three run fails. Ah, ah, ah. Four Three run fails. fails. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Oh, he went for it on 22. That was a wow. gutsy play from this Cardinality, and he got away. Or it sounds like the play of somebody who's played this game. Oh, who's... my goodness. And DK is about to get his rainbow drop from the Jerk K, but the clock is ticking on DK's side as Ness Carnality's in the basement. And not even bothering because there's nothing to find in that treasury. No, there's nothing in the pyramid. Like we said, pyramid game is canceled completely. Star Wyvern, not a big deal for Ness Carnality. <laughs> Star Wyvern's like, just where do you think you're going? All right, DK gonna fill up his magic here at Tantagel Castle and get out of there. Another Star Wars. <laughs> so, sorry, this is good. This is good. Uh-oh. A stone man, that's okay. This time he runs away for his try. What do we have on the spike tile? It is an Axe Knight. Oh, oh nice. baby, you love to see it. That's a great enemy for Ness Cardinality. Swing through and... Two shot, very nice. He's in right now. He's a favorite to take this. He's a favorite to take this. Still got twelve heal mores. Oh, <laughs> right as I say it, the fun police right before the dragon lord. Oh my! Two. And he gets away that time. Oh my word! Still has all the herbs though. He that is heal crazy. Herb. He finally makes it to the dragon lord somehow or rather. All right. Here we go. He says no, and away we go. I will. I will count oh, to. You're gonna count. Yes, I will. All right. I'll tell. I'll tell you if you've made a mistake. Do it. All right. I will. Unfortunately, I hurt more to start, and then another hurt more. You did not like to see that. He has two more herbs left. Stop spell hype. All right. First he strike, goes. he's a massive favorite if he gets the first strike. He does get the first strike. Here we go. Ten. Bad roll there on the fairy water. I get an opening triple. 26. It's risky. He's going for it. 39 off the opening that triple. That was gutsy. That was gutsy, but he does get the opening triple. I love the guts that he's showing this car now to here. 53. Yep. These are great rolls here. Ness Carnality is a massive favorite. Sixty-eight. Aw, <laughs> I needed max roll to get the nice total there. Seventy-eight. I'm still a big favorite here. Plenty in the tank. Plenty in the tank. 93. Yep. 150 to 165 HP is what we are looking for. One oh six. One twenty one. He's guaranteed at this point. Even if he rolls yeah. min the rest of the way, he's got this fight. This is Ness Carnality, is unless he missed menus. 137. In a row. In a row. Have to do that when you're on comms. 151. Ooh, Good this chance gotta he be it. Good chance, but no, he's gotta play it safe. You don't wanna throw it away game. now. He just needs two swings, maybe one swing. He needs 14 to Should guarantee himself. 162 yep. is enough, and get your GGs out for Ness Cardinality. It's going to be really close if he cuts the sub-hour tape, but this was a tremendous performance tonight for Ness Cardinality. I'm not just getting my GGs out. I'm throwing tokens out, too. Oh, absolutely. What a performance tonight for Ness Cardinality. He has taken first blood in this best of three against DK9146, and he is one win away from punching his ticket to the grand championship, just missed the sub hour, but post a very impressive time of 60 minutes and five seconds. And as we do the 60 minute and five second announcement,
look who's on the bottom floor. Yeah, DK. Two, three minutes. And look right what we have in our chat. NASCAR Nally, you did it. Congratulations. A close race. DK, for a lot of this race, had the um, experience advantage on you. But NASCAR Nally, what won you that race was your exploration. You found Rimmeldar a good 15 or 16 minutes before DK did. That was your key to victory right there. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's kind of a relief. And I'm, I'm actually, I, I assume DK would have the experience lead because I got so many deaths before I got out there. But to hear that uh, DK didn't get to Remolder until 16 minutes later makes me wonder how he got so much of an experience lead. I mean, maybe he was just grinding around yeah. home, I guess. Yes, he, yes, he um, was. He, he was grinding in the... Uh... He was grinding in the desert just east of Shylock. There were magic wyverns, there were knights, so there were easily one shot hurt moreable enemies once you guys got hurt more at five. Yeah, I, I tried to get a lot of magic wyverns, but I kept seeing uh, red slimes and uh, droll magis in the same zone. It was funny. Yeah, you had some absolutely horrible luck on rolling uh, hurt mores on green dragons. Just we have a GL2. Right, I'll do yeah, the count this too. time. So DK, we'll stand by for more questions. We're going to watch DK here try to finish off the Dragon Lord here. Attack. Yeah, unfortunately, he got back attack, so he loses his turn there. He starts with a 16 okay. max roll, though. All Did right. He that's... With... Hmm? Did he come in with 11 or 12 heal mores? Um, I think 11. 11. Okay. Did get a it's double just close. then, though. He's got 40. First double's a very good thing. Most of it is. 54. How do you feel about oh, that? That that open and triple. You did take a little bit of a risk there, swing on 50 when you could have been punched for 51. 64. Yeah. I felt like with the low agility and large shield, I really wanted to just get it while I could. Oh, I don't blame you. You got to take risks sometimes to win. 79. 79? Is that 79 or 89? 79. There's 93. What did you What do you think about the seed? I mean, you you were five seconds off sub houring. <laughs> I didn't realize it'd be such a jet after all the early deaths. Another double for right? DK brings him to 121. Another max roll. Um, was it Was it the hurt more at five that was like, okay, I can explode this thing now? Was that how he felt, or? I, I was hoping for hurt more. I, I literally said, "Come on, hurt more." 136 yeah, for DK. DK in the there driver's seat here, going to defeat yeah. the Dragon Lord for sure. Yeah, he is guaranteed good rolls. Yeah, 145. Yeah, you you had amazing rolls, and until that nine, DK also had amazing rolls. Need 16 more, at least. 160. Nope, this will guarantee it if he just swings. 161 at least. 168. You had, you, you had 162. That's right. Yeah. So now that now that the Dragon Lord 2 is dead, can we bring the stats up, please? Now this is going to be interesting. Was it 161? It was! <laughs> so by one point, DK had to use that last heal more right there. So, uh... <laughs> And by one point, sorry, by two points, uh, <laughs> Ness Cardinale didn't. Exactly. So get your GGs out for DK. What a race. The difference, three minutes and 59 seconds. You expected nothing different between these two champion competitors here. Wow. Oh, wow. Now, a couple other questions I have for you, Ness Cardinality. That yeah. run against the AK-47 when you're on like 20-some HP at the U, what were you thinking on that play? Yeah, you know, if this hadn't been a tournament race, I might have just fought it and gone for level 15, especially if there were a lot of people in the race. But I realized that, you know, DK is a phenomenal player. This is going to be close, and I figured he would go at 14. You know, I have to try and get past. And if I run away, this is still very live. Whereas um, if, if I get sent back, I mean, I can just fight for 15 on the way. There was tons to fight on the top two floors. So, but yeah, I wanted to give myself a chance to get the fast dive, and, and thank goodness I did. And then, in a race where we had not seen any red dragons at all, you see a red dragon steps before the dragon lord. You're having trouble running away. What are you thinking at that point? 
Man, I think I got down to 47 HP. If I hadn't run that time, I would have had to heal more, and I guess I still would have had to try the Dragon Lord. But, uh, but I would have been very worried about my chances. Whereas getting to run on that chance, I was pretty excited because I knew I would still have three herbs and have 12 heal mores when I need about 14 attacks to win. So a great chance for me there with 120 HP. And I think, I know I got one double attack. I, I might have gotten a second. And of course, the high rolls were just totally in the driver's seat from there. Yeah, absolutely tremendous performance by both of you tonight. Now we have DK here in the commentator's booth as well. GG, a fine performance. I mean, 64 minutes and four seconds. That's going to win you a lot of races. But tonight, it just wasn't enough against Nest Carnality. You did have the experience advantage on Nest Carnality, but you have probably figured it out by now. What probably cost you is it took you about 15 or 16 more minutes for you to find Rumaldar than it did for Nest Carnality. That his exploration was just on the money. Yeah, I wouldn't even say keys was a big deal, but GG uh, Ness as far as um, as far as the beginning, the big deal was um, when I went south and all the way east and didn't uh, see Garenham the first time, so I didn't have armor or knowledge of the token and what was back there. Um, so it was such a long path all the way down and around. I went all the way down, found all that stuff, was able to get the cords, get Hoxons cleared, and get the sword, get through Swamp Cave, clear Mountain Cave. Um, didn't see the jerk at that point. Died and died in Mountain to an ambush. Uh, Axe Knight after clearing it, but then having to redo that whole thing, plus that whole Northeast area that was the void of anything that I found. Never found Cole, that was the only look. Cole or Breck. Yep, and uh, Cole had the death necklace, so uh, we did have something, but didn't that didn't apply. You had you know plenty of resources to make that, but I will say this much, DK. At the end of Grave, where Ness Carnality, you know, obviously didn't have to check because uh, now he was actually in Grave first, you know, got a few chests, but unfortunately didn't make it all the way. So he knew he had to come back after finding that the coordinates were um, the fairy flu. Speaking of the coordinates, by the way, if, if you've noticed on the screen here, we have the fun police coordinates. 10-4, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. And of course, they were, the, you know, the, the flute, the the least useful item that could possibly be for us. Uh, I'm glad I didn't return back out of Cantlin, though. It was just so far down there, I, I had to keep the exploration where I was at that point. Yeah, absolutely, in order to, to, to stay alive. Now, talking about the grave again, uh, you know, you got to the end of the grave, and that last chest very heads up player for you to do the gold grind on that last chest where there was gold so you could buy that silver shield and that could have ended up being a difference maker if Ness Carnality didn't have such a lead on you I mean it would have been really nice if it um if you know we got one more agility and I could repel all the star wyverns oh, and werewolves yeah. I kept running into yeah those star wyverns were kind of being pests to both of you there if, and yeah for DK if you, if you would have gotten that you know 48 would have been the max punch on DL2 you would have been in better shape but in the end I don't think it was going to matter it's just Ness Carnality you know he went after the exploration much earlier than you did and I think in the end that was the decisive factor in tonight's race yeah, I mean, I'll have to watch it back like I always do. But um, yeah, I'm real curious how the whole routing thing went and such. Because um, I'll be honest, um, I still think that um, when I left was the right call. If you saw, like, literally right as I was hitting the rainbow, I got level 14. Um, oh, yeah. So Your it lined up perfectly. It was perfect getting level 14 to set you up to go into Charlotte. But, but by then, it was just too late for you, unfortunately. DK. No, absolutely. But uh, GG again, Ness, we get to do this again tomorrow. It's exciting. DG, very much looking forward to doing it again tomorrow. Absolutely. It should be a good in here. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this one's going to play out. Ness Carnality, you win tomorrow night. You're on to the grand championship to take on either Metal Dream or Big Slamu. So a uh, lot looking forward to you and tomorrow. And DK, you're obviously going to want to try to tie it up. I mean, you two have had a history of having some amazing close races in Dragon Warrior Randomizer Tournament history and the nightly. So... I can't wait to see what you two bring to the table tomorrow night. Well, thanks for volunteering, everybody. I uh, appreciate it very much, and uh, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Sorry, I've been behind Thank you all again so much for putting on the show for everyone. Um, Ness Cardinality and DK, no. Thank you for putting on the show we were allowed to put on. Well, you're welcome. All righty. Please make sure you give both of our runners, Ness Cardinale, DK9146, a follow at 
absolutely phenomenal race. They played their hearts out. They they are showing you why these two are here in the semifinals of this year's Dragon Warrior Randomizer Summer Tournament, and we can't wait to see what they bring tomorrow night. DK fighting for his tournament life here. Nest Carnality, he wins. He's moving on to the finals. So a lot's going to be at stake tomorrow night right here on DW Randomizer, or rather RPG Limit Break. Oog, any final yes, thoughts? Sir. Um, I, I, I just, I, I, sorry, DK, I feel bad. Like you, you ran a 104 and you, you, you just weren't fast enough. I mean, this was a fantastic race. This was a fast race. This is the kind of thing that will keep people coming back for years and years. And this, that's why I wanted to thank you both for putting on the show for us to put on. I just want you all to remember, I think uh, when when uh, one person finishes and the other is already on the bottom floor of Sherlock, I don't think anyone has anything to feel bad about. This oh, not was at all. just about as close as it can get. Oh, absolutely. It, all, all it would have taken was that run fail. You run fail against the Star Wyvern, sends you back home. Boom, DK has it. Or the Red Dragon takes away your heal more then you don't get the good rolls boom that could have happened a lot of things could have happened i mean that's how close this race was anything could have happened that's why we call it sharlock <laughs> yeah and that zone three was disgusting i, I will absolutely say i had so, i had I, what five red dragon and then two armor knight encounters i think in addition to all the other junk you, oh you had a lot of red dragons yeah nes carnally only had the one so he was pretty fortunate But again, GG's to you. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow night. And DK, you've been in this position before. You were down 1-0 against Aaron to you two in the quarterfinals. You're going to have to pull it off again if you want to make a return trip to the Grand Championship yourself. All right, well, I have no further questions. I mean, GG to the both of you. You guys were absolutely lights out tonight. Just phenomenal gameplay from both of you. <laughs> Before we go anywhere, can we get the links back up in chat, though? And then I will say uh, what I need to say before we sign off. And what I need to say is once those links are up, be sure to hit all of those links. Hit the purple buttons. Hit the follow buttons. Nest Cardinality, DK9146, LOZ Cards 25. 23 on commentary our restreamer lord of the synth our tractor shihali and asmati games make sure you hit the buttons hit the follow buttons this is an awesome community that we just need to make better and bigger and that's what i always say but i'm always going to say it Oh, absolutely and i'll tell you what special thanks for on burgundy you know for filling in when oop 37 lost his power momentarily we always appreciate you yes thank you very much for on all right, I think that's going to do it for us here, at least for the time being. But hey, stick around because in a couple of hours at 11 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be right back here on RPG Limit Break. We have the other semifinal match between Metal Dream and Big Slamu. That's game number one right there. So we'll see which one of those two runners can draw first blood in their semifinals. It should be a good one, too. It should be fantastic. And right now we have a little special little thing. Um, Animonials, who is the uh, programmer of DW3R, is actually doing a DW3R run. So we're going to go check that out. Let's go say hi. That sounds great. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. And thank you very much. So on behalf of everybody here on RPG Limit Break, for our restreamer, Lord of the Synth, for our tracker, Shahali, and Hasmati and, Games. And, and for it's bingo. Yep, and Oog37 and Fran Burgundy. I'm LZ Cards Fan23. We'll see you again at 11 p.m. Eastern right here on RPG Limit Break. Have a good night, everybody.